Hi guys, it's me, Tonic TZW, and I really think that the new individual ship statistics in this game is probably one of the best things that Wargaming have brought to the game in recent months. There are a few terrible things have brought in as well, but let's focus on the positive, shall we? Because I've just set a new personal damage record, and um, it wasn't a personal base XP record, but it was pretty damn close to my record as well. Um, but I still think I could have done a little bit better in this one so there's still room for improvement we're here on haven we've got a couple of destroyers a couple of cruisers and then lots of battleships and lots of battleships is always good for damage and um yeah we go out there and we get some so here we are we start on the center and as there's only two destroyers there's already one on the left so i'm going to go across to the right and you'll see me use the command wheel here and say capture that point affirmative i need some help which is telling everybody that that's where i'm going to go and some help would be appreciated and the great news is is that we've got a couple of radar cruisers in this game and look we got one over there and there's one just behind me as well so i'm feeling pretty safe and secure but geez it is the weekend and we all know what weekend gameplay is like sometimes it's like people don't even know which buttons they need to be pressing and this is going to be one of those games as well but I'm going to play and do some things in this game that I wouldn't normally do. And um, yeah, it's going to be close a few times. And I'm going to trade a lot of hit points for not a lot at some stage in this game. And um, had I not done that, I might have played it a little bit differently in places. But all in all, I'm not going to do a bad job of it. Now I can see that the cap is being taken, that there's a target already way across to the right hand side and straight away I'm thinking that is going to be the ZF6 because he's probably slapped his engine boost on and gotten all the way across and out onto that flank and we've got an Iowa pushing in, there's a Lafoudre there and I'm thinking okay we've got a couple of sets of torps out there, let's do the full spread, let's see if we can take the cap and see what happens here. Now the Summers is, is is a bit of a mixed boat. You can play it as a as a gunboat. It's quite hard hitting, and you can play it as a torpedo boat. It's somewhere in the middle of the two, and it just depends on on what mods you set up on it as to how you can play it best. But I'm looking and thinking, surely not this. I was turning broadside to everything here, and oh. Uh, we've missed the Lafoudre, but there's two torpedoes, or three torpedoes, two floods, 38,000 damage. The Iowa takes a clattering, and um, we land another torpedo on something, and then it's like the Awami is sailing out as well, and I'm thinking, geez, we're, we're off to a good start here. This isn't too bad at all. Can we get some fires on this Iowa? And um, the Awami takes a couple of torpedoes as well, and I'm like... We're on 80,000 damage, and we're, we're, we're not even three minutes into the game. And already they lose the Iowa, so I'm thinking, okay, let's see what we can do with this Awami. Sorry, I had to mute my mic there, because I got, I think, a little bit of hay fever. I got some sneezes, and the last thing you want is me sneezing through your headphones or your TV speakers. But there we go. We've got torpedoes coming in. There's a nice little gap there, so we're feeling safe. We did back off the cap just to try and entice that destroyer into it but there's Lafoudre we're going to stay on guns we're going to look at the Awami um, he's still flooding and we're just going to see if we can add a fire to that as well because it looks like he's healing up and that's a good thing because it just means even more damage for us now this destroyer is out here and as I said we've got a cruiser behind us we've got a cruiser there off on our right hand side and I'm thinking you know surely you're just gonna light your radar up and we can get rid of this destroyer off the cap but there we go I've pushed out our smoke and he's parked against the island now I'm keeping this guy spotted I could have backed up into my smoke but really I think I'm the only guy that can see him 
if I did back up, we've got a set of tops available because I initially thought he was stuck against that island and I thought he's going to be an easy kill. He's obviously used his uh, reload booster on me. So now I'm going to turn and kite away because my rudder's out. But we're going to keep firing at him because that is going to be worth some cap resets and they are worth a lot of base XP. So there we go. Cap reset. We're going to fire again. And look, Red Team's battleships are shooting at me. But our Baltimore out there is still parked behind his friggin' rock. Because the only thing that he's going to be able to hit is to get shots across the top of the battleships. And really, he should be deleting that destroyer the second he is spotted. Now, the, um, the other crews are behind me has just um, spammed up I can't remember sonar or radar and I'm calling that guy for help and thinking you know come on buddy get in but it's a paid ship so has he got the experience has he got the knowledge is he just wanting to try and farm some damage off things and um, yeah you know use out there come on buddy I'm getting blind fired here I, you know, I dropped detection ages ago and that Lefoudre still got shots on me even though I'd been moving. Now the Iwami, I think he's just intent on trying to push a flank. So now that I know that the destroyer's out there, I've had to completely change the way I play my game because I've traded all those hit points expecting that destroyer to be taken care of. But the team just fail. And it was a fail. So... I'm turning into the cap, I'm going to start taking it, and I'm going to back up into the cap and line myself up for a straight run out of here, because as soon as I get contested, I'm not going to start hanging around. Because it's obvious to me now that the team aren't interested in really shooting at that destroyer. Um, I haven't got the hit points to get into a gunfight with him. If anything, he's backed off. He's waiting for that um, main battery reload to come back. There we are. We're contested. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sticking around here anymore. I'm getting the hell out of dodge. Um, but those torpedoes we put across that gap have worked nicely because that Awami... Bup takes it on the ass and he is out of the game. And it's now that I, I looked at my damage score and I'm like, holy crap, I'm on 125,000. Where did that come from? And then I just thought it was all those idiots sailing in a straight line across the top of the cab at the beginning. So, yeah, summer's torpedoes certainly pack a punch when they land. And now Mr. Lefoudre, who's just been doing here, come forward, stop, back out, come forward, stop back out it gets annoying it gets annoying but the Baltimore has pushed round so I'm thinking you know perhaps he might be able to take care of that destroyer if he pushes in I've got a smoke available and what I want to happen is for this Lefoudre to come back into range it looks like the rest of the team are pretty static on the bottom end of those islands at the uh, seven o'clock on the minimap there is the destroyer Come on, Baltimore, take care of him. Finally, finally. And there we go. The Lefoudre has fired. He's pushing forward. He wants a cap. But now he's backing up again. What is this guy on? Is he, is he kind of stuck on the gearbox going backwards and forwards? But there you see. You see the bow wake appear there? That means that he's coming forward. So he's going to be in range. Now I hit my smoke. Now we're going to try and get some fires on this guy. We've already got one set of torpedoes running at him. And if he is just going to bow tank and come rushing through, we're going to give him something to run into. So here we go. Let's get on these guns. Now, he's obviously spotted the torpedoes, but to be frank, I would have straight lined those or taken one. Instead, he's going to take two. That gives us a high caliber. We're over 150,000 damage. And I was like, this is turning into quite a decent game. I didn't have any ideas that I was going to finish on a damage record. Uh, but I think 
we could have easily broken 200,000 damage had um, those battleships not been sort of demolished at the start and we could have farmed them for a little more damage but here we go everybody now wants a piece of the Lefoudre but I'm sorry guys that kill is mine I've been the one doing all the hard work out here while you've been sitting back just taking your snipey little shots so do I feel guilty for taking that kill? No, because I think I've worked for it. So the cap is yet to be taken. And you'll know that sometimes there's a time to push a cap. There's a time to concede a cap. And there's a time to take a cap quite easily. And here we go. We have three ships on the cap. And this one is going to be ours very shortly. It's five ships, plays three. There's a Bismarck, a Sejong, and I can't remember what the destroyer is, but I want to stay away from that destroyer, as I said, because I can't get into a gunfight. But we are going to get a little bit risky here because there's still a lot of hit points out of there to be had. And as I said, didn't know I was on for damage record. I just thought I'm on for a good game. Is there another 45,000 hit points out there or 44,000? Mm, not sure. But we've got a Pommon. And here, I so wish that I had waited because we think he's going to start picking up speed and charging across that cap, trying to get away. Our cruiser has gone charging in and I think that is the biggest mistake he could have made because the Pommon has some nasty secondaries. And... Um, as well as those main guns, that cruiser is in the wrong spot. Because the Sejong out the flank has just put a double wide spread of torpedoes out there and deleted him. So that was a waste of a ship. Complete waste of a ship. I don't know where he finishes on the end stats. We'll have a look and see how he does for himself. But there we go. The Pommon has turned out of my torpedoes. Perhaps I could have spread those a little bit better. But we are keeping this guy spotted. We haven't got a smoke screen available because we used it to try and keep red team guessing. But there we go. Look, we're going to get a single torpedo on the back end of that Pommon. And I'm thinking... Yeah, we're winning this one. What can I get a fire? Can we tick him out? Let let's go. What's what's a secondary range at? Let's have a look. But there we go. There's his secondaries. So we decide we're gonna sail away from those secondaries and you open up a little bit of distance to him. And then I see that the Sejong is out there on the flank and he is gonna have a pop at me as well. Um, there we go, we get a fire, there's the shells from the Sejong. Now the only saving grace here is his shells have a very very long flight time and oh, he gets close, but there's no cookie for that one. We are down to what, 508 hit points. Yeah, we, we can't even take a secondary hit off the Pommon, I don't think. And I thought, is he going to tick out? No, he's not. He's damage control that fire. We then lose another ship, but the Bismarck also goes. It's three plays two. We've got this on points. The Adachi disappears to the Vladivostok I don't know how he got himself spotted perhaps he tried a bit of a YOLO but that leaves the Sejong out here he knows that I've literally got a sliver of health and he's coming towards me I'd love to have that capture point but I'm not gonna run in against this guy I'm gonna get close enough to get some torpedoes away and then you know what we'll put a spread out to the side just in case he does a turn and now we're going to run away because there's no shame in running. We're on 947 points and um, we've got three caps. I don't think there's any way we're going to lose this one. And as much as I don't like torpedoing from the front, it's enough to drop one on the Sejong. It gives us a confederate, puts us up to 189,602 base XP and as the clock 
ticks down and the points tick up, I think. Do I fire a shot at him? No, we want to save this one. So let's not get ourselves unnecessarily killed. But we're looking to make sure we have still got a straight line escape route. And that is the game over. So only the two kills. We get the one cap. We get six defends. We get 159 main gun hits with 189,602 damage. A high caliber and a confederate. Base XP wise, a little bit below my base XP record, but 3,543, which is almost 1,300. In fact, it is 1,300 above second place. So definitely, definitely worked for all of that. And uh, we had a double credit booster running on it. So just over 750,000 credits. I hope you've enjoyed that one. It's not every day you set a new damage record for yourself. Um, I haven't set one globally for a while. But please do stick around, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, get them across to subscribe too. And um, click one of these links and uh, chill out and watch another video. Until next time, take care of yourselves and goodbye.